One way to keep momentum going is to have constantly greater goals. The biggest fool in the world is he who merely does his work supremely well, without attending to appearance. Never walk away from failure. On the contrary, study it carefully and imaginatively for its hidden assets. The purely agitation attitude is not good enough for a detailed consideration of a subject. The pleasure lies not in the cookies, but in the pattern the crumbs make when the cookies crumble. I did meet Senator Robert Kennedy, and it taught me something about political charisma. Success has always been easy to measure. It is the distance between one's origins and one's final achievement. Numbers of sales do not correspond to numbers of readers. I've fought in the Hungarian Revolution in 1956, having left Oxford to do so. To succeed it is necessary to accept the world as it is and rise above it. The fastest way to succeed is to look as if you're playing by somebody else's rules, while quietly playing by your own. I find that non-fiction writers are the likeliest to turn out interesting novels. I always thought of myself as a kind of literary bureaucrat, and that was never going to be enough for me. I came into book publishing without any particular impulse to be in book publishing. The big bestsellers aren't being created by Barnes & Noble. Act well at the moment, and you have performed a good action for all eternity. Men naturally resent it when women take greater liberties in dress than men are allowed. Curiosity is the best motive for writing, curiosity about the world at large, or about oneself. I don't give plots to Harold Robbins or Graham Greene, because they don't need them, but a lot of authors do. Nobody could emerge from a childhood at MGM unscathed. It is not necessary to agree with the Arab point of view about their own history, but it is foolish to ignore it. Most biographers are apt to be discouraged by the sheer volume of papers left behind by their subject. From time to time, one imagined Bill Clinton had charisma, but it never really was more than an occasional false glare. The normal reaction of a publisher when faced with an author with a bee in his bonnet is to grab the check and run. Few things are more painful than being a successful writer born in a small country with an impenetrable language. In Britain and Europe, no event is less forgotten than World War I, or the Great War, as it was called until 1939.